Now, recently what happened was Randy Orton cashed in his money in the bank contract on Daniel Bryan after John Cena versus Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. But there was a twist. Triple H pedigrees Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton basically steals the WWE Championship. But, again, has, has the WWE, the WWE forgotten WrestleMania 25 when Randy Orton wanted to destroy the McMahon family? So he took out Shane McMahon, DDT, Stephanie McMahon, and kissed her and kicked Vince in the head? These guys should never be friends again. But all I'm saying is this. As far as, you know, the story goes, it doesn't make sense to me. Because, like, these guys, I mean, they're supposed to hate each other. But no, Triple H presents Randy Orton and his championship, um, what is it, a little, a little ceremony thing for Randy Orton. Saying it's good for business to have him the WWE, cha the WWE champion. And um, now, Randy Orton is the face of the company. Although John Cena and Sheamus will be out for four to six months due to injuries. So, you know, there's not a lot of allies here. I mean, there's, the, I mean, basically on Raw, Vince McMahon and Triple H being heels now, they had the Shield take out Dolph Ziggler, Mark Henry, and The Big Show. So Randy Orton, Triple H, and Vince McMahon, they're all heels. Um, but all I'm saying is, it's just funny to me that the McMahons, Triple H, and Randy Orton are all allies now, considering what Randy Orton tried to do, tried to, do to them at, before Wrestle, they're in Road to WrestleMania 25. It's just funny. But, um, you know, it is good seeing Randy Orton at heel and Triple H at heel. Randy Orton's a pretty boring phase, and they were teasing a heel turn for Randy Orton. <clears throat> but, um, who knows? You know, maybe it'll maybe it'll all work out. Corporation 2.0, I guess, is what you can call it. But um, yeah, all I'm saying is, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me knowing what Randy Orton was gonna do to the McMahon family.